Top bosses, let us talk about an instant shower head a bit. Before it is wired, do you know that there are so many factors to consider, including safety and other things? So this is the instant shower head where it will be placed here. This is the bathroom. The instant shower head will definitely be installed here. So I have ensured that this box here, which is a circular box together with a conduit, will be placed near this pipe here so that it will be easy for the instant shower head to tap its power from that point there. It is not good to have separate locations or a distance, a far much distance from this pipe all the way to the wires because it will not look good. So as you can see, the proximity of that is simply uh, just relative so that the work can look good. So that is how we do our work. We begin working with the end in mind so that at the end of the day, once the finishing is done and the entire project is handed over to the client, everything looks neat and makes a lot of sense. So this is a common restroom and in this restroom we have the instant shower head as well as the lighting points which will be here. It is important to take note that initially the people who are doing the drop work had placed the switches here and this turned out to be a half wall. And so for us, we cannot have the pipes floating in the air all the way to the gypsum. It will definitely make the gypsum look very bad and this place will look bad. So it doesn't make sense to have these switches here. So as top height electricals and electricians, we have transferred these switches from here to a wall where it does make sense. And this wall is here. So, and this is easily accessible, as you can see, once someone opens the door, they can access the switch and switch on the lights, as well as switch on the instant shower head. These are easily accessible from this door. And another important aspect is that it looks good because, as you can see, after the plaster work has been done and even the paint work, then it will make a lot of sense and the work will look neat because what will only be visible here are the two switches. Now, if you're finding some value in this video, kindly hit the like button. Now, when it comes to piping, it is yet another important thing to consider because you know what? Heaters draw a lot of current and they may overheat the cables. But since we have a better choice of cables, then they will not overheat. But another aspect to consider is rodents. If you have cables just bare up there in the ceiling, then they are exposed to rodents, which will eat up the insulation, exposing the wires, which might short circuit, and finally either burn the home or probably cause serious short circuits that may bring about electrical problems there since we don't want that all our cables go through the pipe from the consumer unit to the switches and finally to the instant shower head electrical hazards or electrical fires start in this manner now remember that every wood in this house is connected to each other so in the event that this incidence is happening in one bedroom, it might connect to all of the timber that is very dry in every part of your house or your property. The worst scenario will be if at all nobody is home, then this fire will be throwing flames in each and every part of your home and consuming each and every combustible thing that is on its way the worst of them all will be if children are in the home and asleep then this will be a death issue and we don't want to get to that so that is why we ensure that our cables 
have been protected by these conduits and for us here at Top Heights Electricals and Electricians that is one thing that we always always take with a lot of weight and ensure that each and every electrical installation is not exposed and no one upon inspection can be able to trace or see or locate any wire that is naked because what we do we begin with the end in mind in the event that the end is an electrical hazard such as a fire then our beginning has to take care of all the circumstances or scenarios or eventualities and ensure that we prevent such an occurrence from happening in the near future or even in future. So that is how we bend our pipes easily like a pro. For the instant shower heads, we have two of them and we have two different or two separate circuits. We have one instant shower head supplied by these wires, the neutral, the up and the live connection. Each of these wires are rated at 4.0 millimeter square that is the cross-sectional area of the wires themselves and the insulation of these wires is perfect consideration because they carry a lot of current supplying to an instant shower head which is basically a heater now we will supply each of these instant shower head with its own mcb to ensure that if there is a problem with one instant shower head, it trips on its own. In the next video, I'll be giving you more tips when it comes to electrical installations. Subscribe to my channel for more.